It's been more than a year that you are with us. It gives me so much joy, I cannot describe with words. I'm really grateful. It's true what they say, it's an indescribable feeling. The days, every day is special since you're with us. You changed our whole life. You changed my life completely. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. The hardest job. We cried a lot this year, you and me. Sometimes together. And it's really hard to see the light. It's hard to see the light when I'm hallucinating from sleep deprivation. Sometimes it feels like I'm losing myself and I'm trapped. And I'm the only one who can save myself. Seeing you getting smarter every day, being so curious about the world, about life, about everything that surrounds you, gives me so much happiness. You are getting faster and faster. You are falling a lot, but you are always standing and moving forward. Seeing you, you with your father warms my heart. I never thought I will feel this way. I never knew about this feeling exists. You see everything in every detail. You are a true artist. Hi everyone, uh, as you can see I was able to paint my hair pink right this time. Alberto is at the back and I decided that today I'm gonna change the pattern. We're not gonna do what we are always doing. I'm not gonna let him sleep at home, he's always sleeping at home. Maximum he's falling asleep in the car and then I'm taking him if we are going somewhere in the morning. But usually he's outside in our garden playing and you know being outside in the fresh air and then he's sleeping at 11 at home in his own bed but this time I thought okay we're gonna try to do some something else there's this place that is really close to us and it's really nice so there's a little lake and there's some animals and so he can walk around get tired and hopefully falling asleep in a I don't know what's the name in English, Passeggino. And so while he's sleeping in the Passeggino, I can read and, you know, draw. But I usually, I'm not doing when we are at home because I'm, one, I'm just laying and trying to, you know, survive in any way. Or two, there's some chores that I have to do at home. So usually that's what I do. So I was hoping that, you know, because we are outside, I'm like forced to do do something for myself so uh, I'm forced to uh, read and I'm forced to draw and so do the, the creative part that I'm really missing for myself that is it so that's the plan and then we'll see how it's gonna turn out Of their lives like we do. 
no one else is here. Just two roosters, uh, two chickens, and three old persons. It's a nice little place this one but when it starts to be lunch time the workers are coming and they changing the music they start to play music so it's not quiet anymore so it's not really ideal for this time it's ideal in the morning I have to pick up my mail um, because uh, I ordered some used um, toys Giocattoli, toys for Alberto, so I'm really excited for that. Yeah, the other day we went to we went to Lorenzo. Nice, Lorenzo is working. Bravo. So we did go out with a few of our friends the other day to to um, yeah, we were going out and. Uh, to the center of Padova, which is always super messy and there's a lot of people and you know, like on a Saturday night with uh, friends in the center of Padova, it's like, you know, like youngsters and... <laughs> But there were so many babies, it was insane. There were so many babies and dogs, and so Alberto enjoyed it, but I, I, I didn't that much, to be honest. It was nice, and it was really good to see our friends. It was really, really, really nice. But I was not able to talk to them so much, and and because like I had to hold Alberto, because yeah, it was like super tiring. But the night ended up really like Alberto enjoyed it he was walking around there were so many different things because it's the center of the city so it's everything is you know the smells the sounds the noise the, the lights everything is different compared to where we live also we are not outside during the night so he really enjoyed it and then the night ended up really nice we had a really great pizza even if we didn't eat in the center in the end that was the plan but um, and it, we had so much fun and it was a great pizza
Okay, so today is raining and it's cold outside, so I thought to uh, make the day a little bit better. I'm gonna cook some biscuits. I'm gonna fill the house with the smell of wonderful biscuits. <laughs> It is easy to get used to the monotonous everyday life, but we have to break out. I have to break out. I try to accept that this is gonna be challenging and hard, that it has its ups and downs, brighter and darker days that I won't sleep and I have to do it by myself. I have to do this 